Earth sign, welcome in. This is your reading. Let's see where we go. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Feel free to swap around the energies. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. So just get into your intuitive sense. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Breathe in, breathe out. Get yourself into a place of groundedness. Let's see where we go with you. Um, if you're looking for the individual zodiac signs, you might want to check out uh, Patreon. Also, I am doing a live tomorrow, um, Friday, October 9th at noon, that is going to focus on uh, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So if you're dealing with one, you might want to check that out. Also, I will do a reading, general reading for everybody on the, on the live, okay? All right, so let's see what's going on for you. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, I am feeling a stabbing pain in my back right now as I mention your signs. Okay, feeling this, um, especially on this side here, feeling a very strong stabbing pain. Distant thunder. Taking shelter. Gates of triumph. Success expands in your life. So I feel like right now this is about, um, I don't know, laying low, but I, I think there's um, a good chance that you're going to need to um, hunker down for a little bit here until something blows over. I, I also feel like the answers are within you, not if you've been looking externally for answers right now, um, the answer is within you. So you're going to want to do more, either more meditation or just more paying attention to your own um you know, morning routines, doing some reading, doing some, I, I just feel this very, um, the solitude, a little bit of solitude right now. It could be over the whole winter, but let's see where we're going here. Two of cups underneath, two of cups, four of wands, knight of cups. Okay. That's what's happening underneath the surface. Sun. Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands. You're dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Fool. Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. A new beginning with a fire sign. Three of Pentacles, Four of Cups, Nine of Cups. Um, I do feel like you're going in the direction of getting what you want. But it's almost like um, it's almost like this person that you're dealing with right now, Leo, Aries, Sag, has a lot on their plate. Okay, they could be very overwhelmed right now. Um, they could have a lot going on, and you are jumping in with both feet. Okay, jumping right into this. I, and right away having to fight the battles with them, for them, all right? They're, they could have a um, really busy life, really a lot of, lot of irons in the fire, big career. They could have a lot of people um, around them. I feel like this is what you're hoping for, this Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, this very blissful kind of experience. But I feel like the Ten of Wands, I'm going to clarify the Ten of Wands here. Because I feel like you're jumping in and you're going to feel like you have to be like, whoa, whoa, it's a lot. You're a lot. This is a lot of energy here. Okay. Um, for some of you, I also feel like there is a third party and you didn't really know about this. The third party could be their job, could be their work, could be their career. Okay. The third party could, could be something that... Um, takes them away from you, you could have to battle it, okay? I, I feel like you're jumping in without really thinking about it. It's like this person is in my life and I'm jumping right in, okay? Um, celebrating and everything like that, but 
pretty soon it's almost like this person wants you to fight their battles for them for some of you for others of you it could get sort of stuck because um, the third party may not be another person the third party may be a career a big career or some kind of money issues or something like that ten of wands please clarify the ten of wands for me page of pentacles ten of pentacles king of wands okay this is an ex this is somebody they've been married to they have children with um, I, I, do, I feel like it is an ex I don't feel like it's a, a current partner but I feel like that's the burden this person seems to have everything together but it's like that person, their ex is too close to them. There's too much around all the time. That ex shows up all the time. Okay, they're always in their life. It, this person could also have a business together with this ex. Okay, so maybe they're not lovers anymore. Maybe they don't live together. Maybe they're not even married anymore. But this person is in their life. Okay, all the time. It's like, is your ex-husband going to show up every day? Is your ex-wife always going to be around you? Well, we have a business together. Well, our child is its in, is a business. Maybe the child is some kind of prodigy. The child has some kind of special needs, and it requires them to spend a lot of time together. I feel like they almost didn't want to get divorced or something, but it was over. It really was over, okay? So the new thing is starting, and you think it's awesome, but it does feel like you're having to fight a lot of battles, Okay, you're having to fight a lot of fights. This could be reversed. You could have an ex who's in your life too much and your person is like, I thought you were divorced. What is this? Why is this? Why is this happening? So this very much this energy of I thought I knew what I wanted or I thought I was getting what I wanted, but it's uh, mm, I'm not sure it's it's not this. All right. It's not this. It's not the romantic image I had in mind because the fool is looking right at the Knight of Cups, right? The fool's looking right at that. And you might have had some very, very uh, fantasy oriented belief systems around this person. And you thought that this was the person that you wanted. Okay, but you got it. You got this person. So there's going to be a need to clear the air. Your answers are inside you. If you keep looking to this person to answer the why, why, why is it like this, I feel like you need to look within. Why, why, why is it like this? Okay, six of pentacles, eight of swords, eight of pentacles, queen of swords. You're really going to have to look in yourself. And I know that seems weird to you because you're feeling like, well, it's them. It's their issue. It's their problem. There's always, they're the ones who can't let go of their ex. Okay, maybe true. But if you, this was the person you wanted, this was the thing you wanted. This was the experience that you were attracting to you. So if you take responsibility for that and you look at it, okay, so for me, um, why is this in my life? I feel like I ignore red flags. Okay, the Six of Pentacles is a person feeding more than one person, taking care of more than one person. I feel like you're ignoring red flags about people, okay? And when someone says, you know, and you think you can work on it, okay? You think you can work through this. I feel like asking more strongly worded questions, uh, being more certain about what it is you want, because... You thought you wanted this person, but it come, this person comes with a whole lot of baggage. All right. I see Aries Leo Sag here for sure. This person's a fire sign. All right. And um, let's see. Hermit. Magician, Nine of Pentacles. So this is you. All right, there's Virgo energy and Magician. You have everything you need. You're becoming more, you're becoming wiser, which is great because I've been seeing you as the fool here. But this relationship or this connection is about getting you a lot clearer on what it is you want, okay? And getting yourself a lot more solid in the idea of being confident about what I want, but it's also about, I will also want single. And when, you know, look, 
as we grow in our lives, a lot of people um, are seemingly single, but they're really not. They have something that requires a huge amount of their attention. And it's sort of like you need to look at have they made space for relationship in their life? Have they done the work of removing this other person from their day-to-day -day existence? If they haven't done it, I feel like that's going to be disappointing to you. And I feel like you're going to have to work through it. This is a good lesson for you though, because it will clarify for you what it is that is going to make you happy. Okay. And I don't feel like it's this, but let's see where we go. Okay. I'm going to continue on with this reading. Um, Aries Leo Sag, we'll take a look at that person. And also for you, this is just separate that, um, not looking at red flags or glossing over things or just being like, that's no big deal. So they have, so they have children. Okay. A lot of people have children, but people deal with things differently. It's not really the having children part or the having an ex. It's how are they dealing with it? I feel like this person is constantly calling on their ex to come back into their life. Okay. I feel like they're constantly still enmeshed with this person. That's a red flag. Not the fact that they have children or an ex or a business or anything like that. How are they dealing with that? Okay. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. The link is below if you want to continue on with me. And I, like I said, I'll look at the fire sign here. Okay. All right. See you over there.